What is up, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls? It's your boy Goblin, and today we are coming in with a hoot and a holler, a banger of a story, if you will. Before I dive into that, I do want to mention a couple things. First off, drop a like if you guys enjoy. Second off, download Cash App using my link in the description if you haven't used Cash App before. Just like Venmo and PayPal, it's a way to send your homies money, right? You download that, we both get a free $5 just for you trying out the app. Costs no money, it's completely free. If you're not familiar with Cash App, who the fuck are you, bro? You should be. Come on. Y'all are some crackheads. Everyone knows what Cash App is. If you guys download that, link in the description with my link and sign up. We both get five bucks deposited into our account. It's lit, baby. Five bucks. That's blunt money. Link's in the description if you want some free cash, baby, just for downloading a free app, the Cash App. Thank you guys for downloading that in advance. If you guys do, it supports me and you. And without further ado, let's get into this banger of a story. I took six Zans and ate my keyboard. Now, listen, this is not a proud moment. This is not a, a very hype moment in my life. Nevertheless, it happened. So it's a ba- to give you guys some backstory to this, I have a buddy who we're going to call, we're going to call Brad and Brad I've known for years. I've known Brad since I was like, probably like 12 or some shit, maybe even 11. We've been online gaming friends for a very long time. I met him playing Call of Duty And we've just been tied ever since. And he lives all the way down in Alabama. He goes to University of Alabama, right? So he hits me up a couple weeks ago and he's like, yo, dude, I'm going on break soon. I'm trying to drive up there and see you, right? So I'm like, bet, dude, I just got my new house. I'm living on my own now. There's plenty of room for him to stay. So I'm like, bet, dude, come on up. He's like, is there any substances you want me to bring? Now, this piques my interest. I, of course, ask him. I'm like, yo, dog. What kind of substances we talk? And he's like, dude, my guy's got Molly, Zans, all types of shit. Now, the only thing I was expecting to do when he came up here is just smoke a lot of dope. But when he offered those substances, I was like, well, it's my homie that I've only met like once before, but we've been tight for years. I want to make sure it's a really lit fucking weekend. And as, you know, kind of counterintuitive this may be, I want it to be memorable, despite the fact that I ate six Zans. I wanted it to be memorable. And <laughs> listen. In a lot of my Zan videos, right, I I tell you guys, like, pretty much exactly how it happened from first person, like, from my view, because I still remember it to an extent. At this point, I haven't taken Zans, and I don't even know how long prior to this. This happened about a week ago. Prior to this, I couldn't tell you the last time I took a Zan. It's been a long fucking time. So... For this to happen, I genuinely don't remember much. So a lot of the story is going to be told from what I was told by my friends who watched me do this, right? Like, this isn't going to be my first-person perspective because I don't remember most of this fucking night. But nevertheless, my buddy Brad, he starts driving up here, and he's got, I think it was like an 18-hour drive, and I'm cleaning up the house, getting ready for him. I carried a futon up to the loft area where I, I stay at. It's my bedroom. The whole loft is just my area. And laid it out so he could sleep up here, have somewhere so he wouldn't have to sleep on the floor, and got all set, you know, cleaned up the house, got ready for him to pull up. He pulls up. I shake up, you know, it's great to see him, haven't seen him in a minute, and I had his plug bring me quite a few things, I PayPal'd him some money, so he'd bring me a gram of molly and 10 Zans, just 10 of them, right, because I figured I want to try them, but I don't want a shitload of them, so 10's a fair amount to last us through the weekend, I figured I'd share with him, maybe 5 to each of us, and it would all go great. As you could probably tell by this title, 5 did not go to each of us, and they did not last through the weekend, so, (laughs) fucking hell, dude, nevertheless, he gets here. And almost right off the bat, we start getting lit. You know, I bring him upstairs. I introduce him to my roommates that he'd never met before. We're all chilling upstairs. And he brings this nice bong. He has a little Illadelf bong. And it's fucking nice, dude. The glass is great quality. So we're smacking the hell out of this thing. He brought about an ounce of bud with him. So we're just packing up some bowls, smoking some dope, trying to figure out what to do on our first night. He got here on a Friday. And we're like, yo, you know, it's a weekend. But in my area, there's not a ton of stuff to do when you go out. So all the fun we were going to be having was in my house. And that means drinking drugs so of course he busts out the zans he busts out the molly and i'm looking at him right i'm I'm taking a look i'm scoping him out the zans look good right now listen this is some goblin advice here this is some some fatherly advice here for all my children listening here do not try this at home zans are not safe molly is not safe and combining them is even more unsafe which is what i did in this video but i'm going to get to that in a little bit 
So, nevertheless, we bust out these Zans, and I'm looking at them, and I'm like, oh, hell yeah, bro. These actually look pretty good, right? Granted, they, they were presses, yes, and that is why I gave that warning, because especially when you know it's pressed, be very careful, unlike I was here. I was really reckless and stupid and intoxicated. You should not be acting like that, but... I'm telling you guys how I acted like that, because I'm an idiot. Let me be your guinea pig, motherfuckers. But nevertheless, so either way, I pop one of these bars, right? I, I pull them out of the bag and pop one. Taste it a little bit, kind of let it sit on my tongue to make sure the taste was on point. And it tasted like some real fucking Alprazolam, or however the hell you say that. I probably mispronounced it. So I took that one down. We kept smoking some dope. About 45 minutes goes by, and I'm feeling pretty good. I'm chilling, right? At this point, the bag of molly is still sitting in front of me. So, of course, I grab my scale, right? My buddy had a scale downstairs, so I went and grabbed it off and brought it up. Scaled out about a point, like, one five of molly is my initial dose, right? And I ate that shit. Now, listen, molly and Zans, I'm going to be honest. It's not safe. I don't recommend it. Do not try it at home. However, the combo is an interesting feeling. It's an interesting feeling. It, like, they don't necessarily counteract each other like you might think. They, they kind of, they have a little bit of synergy in a weird way. The, you know, what I found is the Xanax kind of takes the edge off of your role and makes you really focus on the like inner feeling of the role, like that inner just euphoria. Like, you know how whenever you eat some good molly, you just feel like there's some hot chocolate pumping through your veins. It, it makes that feeling more intense and kind of takes away from like the sweating and the like physical, like kind of anxious feelings that molly can induce, right? So, of course, I pop this molly, right? I'm only one Zan deep at this point. Some time goes by, I start feeling a little bit. Now, at this point, this is when I got really fucking reckless. Once the molly hit, everything was out the window. And after this point, there's not a ton that I remember off top. So a lot of what I'm saying past this point is going to be from other people's perspectives that I got filled in on. So, apparently... <laughs> I distributed some more Zans, apparently, because I don't remember distributing them to who, but I remember the amount I distributed. I took one, and then I gave out three. I gave my buddy Brad one, I gave one of my roommates one, and the third one, I don't even remember. I don't remember where the fuck it went. But nevertheless, I'm sitting there, right, and I have five Zans left to my dome. Now, they weren't intended to go to my dome. However, now that I'm intoxicated off not only a Zan, but some Molly, I'm thinking, okay... This, this could work. This could work. So lo and behold, me being an absolute fucking moron, I just start popping these like candy. I don't really remember how frequently or how many at a time I took. So that's a part of this video that I can't give you guys the detail on because I don't remember, right? All I know is a couple hours passed and it got pretty late at night. I remember it being about like 10 or 11 o'clock at night. And the Zans were MIA and I was fucked up. I remember sitting at my desk on my computer, right? All my homies were behind me. I'm sitting at my computer chair, and we're all chilling out, just having a good time chatting and shit. And I go on Amazon, and my buddy Brad, he's telling me about this grinder that he had, right? And I have the one-click buy option on Amazon. So I go on Amazon, and I cop that shit. And let me remind you guys, this part I don't remember fully. I only remember this because the package came. And then I texted my buddy Brad, like, yo, did I buy a grinder? And he's like, yeah, dude. And I was telling you I bought a grinder, and you went and bought one. And I was like, oh, cool. You know, like, it just got here in the mail two days later, and that's how I remembered that I bought a grinder. But nevertheless, I go on Amazon, and I buy this grinder. Let me tell you, it's the Chromium Crusher, to be exact. That's what it says on the top here. Let me, let me pick this thing up. Yeah, it says, it says Chromium Crusher on it here. It's a good fucking grinder. I got it for, like, I think it was, like, 15 bucks, maybe, maybe 20, but it's big. Nevertheless, let me put it back together here. There we go. But nevertheless, I buy this chromium crusher grinder and I, I stayed at my computer after being on Amazon, I guess just surfing the internet, doing something. I don't really remember what I was exactly doing. Cause at this point, all six Zans were down the hatch, how they all got down the hatch or what drove me to make that decision and why no one stopped me. I don't know. But nevertheless, I somehow managed to handle myself enough to be conscious and functioning without really remembering any of it. And I say functioning very loosely because shortly after placing my Amazon order. Now, I remember like a, a snapshot of this personally. However, Brad described this to me so well that I can tell this to you guys almost like I remember it. I pulled my space bar off of my keyboard. My keyboard has all detachable keys. I don't know if that's like a normal thing for keyboards, but 
I, I think it is. But my, my keyboard, I can just yank the keys right off and put them back on, right? Really easy, like some Legos. So I pull my space bar, and if you guys want to look on the screen, I have a picture of my space bar, what I did to it. So of course, I, I pull my space bar off and I turn around and look at my homies who are sitting on the futon behind me. And I, I believe one of them is on the floor. If I, I probably don't remember correctly, but <laughs> if I'm guessing correctly, you know, because I don't think that futon holds three heads. But nevertheless, I turn around and face them all. And I have the space bar in my hand. And I just take a bite of it. And a sizable bite, too. Not just like a little nibble. Like, oh, I wonder if this is good. I just take a fucking bite of it. And now... How I mentioned earlier, how I remembered a little snapshot of this, for those of you guys who were listening, this is the snapshot I do remember. This is the little pinch of this event that I do remember. I remember after taking the bite and immediately almost like sobering up for a second and realizing like, hey, that isn't food. And I spit it out and I found the little chunk of my keyboard in the garbage the next morning. In the garbage the next morning. It was, it was fucking, it was despicable. Listen. I don't think I've ever had this low of a point as to eating six Xanax and taking a bite of my keyboard. This really made me reconsider quite a bit of aspects of my life, right? I'm sitting there like the next day I woke up and I go over to my desk, right? And I sit down, get ready to use my, my, you know, my computer and my keyboard's not on my keyboard. So I'm looking around. I'm like, yo, what the fuck happened to my keyboard, bro? Like, where'd it go? Do you like, where's my space bar, bro? And I'm looking all over the place and I find it on the ground under my desk with a chunk missing. And initially I thought like I dropped it, like I pulled it off or something and stepped on it. I had almost no recollection of the last night. So I just figured, oh, I must have stepped on it, snapped it or something. And Brad, he wakes up because I woke up pretty early. I woke up before him and like went over to my PC. He wakes up and I'm like, yo, dude, what happened to my space bar? And he just starts laughing. He's like, oh, you don't remember that? He just starts dying. And I'm like, no, nah, not really, bro. Like what? Like, and I, I didn't understand why he was laughing. I was like, what? Like what happened? And he's like, dude, you ate it. And I was like, what? Like, I, I don't, I was like, yo, pardon me, dude. Like, hello. And he's like, yeah, dude, you fucking try to eat it. And I was, <laughs> I was like, dude, dude, there is no, f like, you have to be trolling me. Like, there's no way. So I go downstairs with the space bar in my hand and I talk to my roommates and I'm like, guys, what did I, what happened to my keyboard? Like, I think Brad's fucking with me right now, dude. Can someone just tell me what happened to my keyboard? Because the space bar is still on my keyboard to this day. It still works. I haven't bought a new keyboard. Like, I didn't bite off enough of it to ruin it. It's still a key. It's still a space bar. <laughs> so I'm keeping it. But I, I feel like it actually adds to the value of this keyboard. Like, if I ever get famous one day, I could sell this keyboard on eBay. Like, hey, guys, this is Goblin Xanax keyboard. He actually took a bite of it with his real mouth. It's going to go for two racks, you know? <laughs> like, this is an artifact. This is a memory now. Every time I sit down at my desk, I look down and think, oh, yeah, that's why I shouldn't take Sans, you know? Now, let this be a lesson to all you little fuckers out there. Do not take Xanax. Do not take Molly. And do not fucking mix them. Because if you do, you'll eat your keyboard like I did. I literally tried to eat my keyboard. Now, I wish I could give you guys more detail on what happened this night after that, but I have no idea. I genuinely cannot fucking tell you. But there's going to be more stories coming out of this weekend. He spent, I believe it was three days here. I think he got here on Thursday and left Sunday evening, Sunday around noon, maybe 1 p.m. So there was three days of us just getting lit. And all the days except this particular night, I remember vividly. So we're going to have some banger stories coming out of this weekend with my buddy coming to visit. But nevertheless... Hope you guys enjoyed this little story. Drop a like if you did. Don't forget to download Cash App for a free $5 for both of us. Link's in the description. Thank you guys for doing that. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.